What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm your host, Chris, and with D23 vast approaching, it's going to be an extremely fun weekend following Disney Plus Day. So a lot of news announcements coming, not just for Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, Disney Originals, so many different things are going to be broadcasting, teasing, announced, so something to just be overexcited for. However, we have this new poster, which right off the bat, I love the design for, and in total Disney fashion and Marvel fashion, follows the idea of planting Easter eggs throughout the entire thing. But there are a few in particular that are raising some major questions. And I know you all saw the title, Spider-Man is on this poster, which is the biggest peculiarity considering that they don't actually own that character. So what does this mean for Spider-Man, Marvel, and D23? We're going to discuss it and all of the other hidden easter eggs in this poster right now. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the other major movie and television news videos we're posting daily here on the channel. You can also follow me on my other socials, Instagram at Chris M. Rosser and Twitter at The Culture Chris. Links to both of those are in the description down below. So, Awesome poster, no denying that. Mickey Mouse right in the middle, front and center. And of course, the big Epcot ball with Maleficent standing in front of it. You see Dumbo, Tinkerbell, a lot of different spacecrafts from all sorts of different franchises. Buzz Lightyear, Winnie the Pooh, Stitch up on the castle, Ratatouille up on the castle, and many, many others of Pixar balls involved. So many fun things here. Marvel Easter eggs, you have Captain America's shield up in the top left corner, as well as the Black Panther logo, which is sitting there on the castle. But most importantly, and what we're all here to discuss, the Spider-Man hanging upside down in one of the drawbridges. Now, there are a lot of people talking about which Spider-Man is this, and it's Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, look at the eyes, and I think that that's definitely reaching just a little bit, but this is very clearly a Spider-Man. And I do think that it is an interesting development because Sony has the movie rights to Spider-Man. Now, Disney has some of their own personal property rights to Spider-Man, including some merch and, and several different things that go into a very complicated deal with Tom Holland. However, if you were to say who owns Spider-Man, the answer isn't Disney, it's Sony. However, we do know that Sony and Disney have had a very successful collaboration of Spider-Man, allowing Spider-Man to join the MCU in Captain America Civil War and then to continue on with his own trilogy, showing up in a few Avengers films like Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, and it has been a very, very successful relationship that led to one of the biggest movies of all time, Spider-Man No Way Home, where we saw all three Spider-Men from the recent ages come together on screen and fight off a bunch of baddies. With that being said, hopefully this means we'll be getting an announcement of Spider-Man 4 in the D23 event. Now this is a big surprise. Traditionally, Sony has wanted to keep back this huge flagship character, definitely the most successful character that they really have over at Sony Pictures so that they can promote their own things. It is a surprise that Sony would be like, hey Disney here, go ahead and announce Spider-Man 4, even though the only reason it's as popular and exciting as it is is because it's part of the MCU. Now, Spider-Man is definitely one of the most hyped and beloved characters just because of the age where everybody's at. Most of us grew up watching the Spider-Man animated series or playing with Spider-Man toys, reading Spider-Man comics. So it really is just the time for this character to be at his all time peak. That's everybody's favorite character. And I do believe if Sony's playing this right, they stand to make more money and get more hype and more excitement from Spider-Man if they do kind of hand the reins over to Disney a little bit and allow them to market it the way they want to. So allowing them to have this for D23 for either a phase five announcement or one of those phase six slots that haven't been announced yet, that's really, really awesome and will draw a lot of attention. Getting the Spider-Man 4 title or a release date or anything about it, other than the fact that we already know what's happening, Amy Pascal, who's in charge of Spider-Man over at Sony, and Kevin Feige here at Marvel have already come out and said, yes, we're getting a Spider-Man 4 and probably a sequent trilogy following that. And we want to tell you guys because there were issues with the Sony Marvel deal where we didn't know if Spider-Man was going to get pulled out because of some bad blood, some bad decisions, and some bad business stuff that was going on. So they said, yes, guys, Spider-Man is returning. We don't need another chaotic moment where you don't know. And that's all the information we got. So it seems like based off of this poster and no other information, Spider-Man has been added to it. We might be getting some Spider-Man updates, presumably Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4, whether it's a title or release date, I can't wait to find out. Other things worth noting on this poster, 
I think is Indiana Jones, who's in the other drawbridge. It's funny how they put these two characters in, in the two drawbridges, but we haven't gotten a teaser trailer for Indiana Jones 5, which we know will be releasing relatively soon here. We know that filming was kind of rough with COVID and also Harrison Ford accounting for a few different injuries and having to delay. It's all done now. The film's wrapped. They're working on editing or finished up with editing, which means we 100% could have a first trailer or a teaser trailer be released at D23. We did get a first look, a first image of Indiana Jones in a cave during, actually believe it or not, Disney Star Wars Celebration, which was an awesome huge Star Wars convention, which if you're not familiar with, talks about all the Star Wars things up and coming. But they did mention Indiana Jones because obviously Harrison Ford is very involved with both Star Wars and Indiana Jones. Now, I do want to be completely fair and go both ways with what this could possibly mean. Just because a Spider-Man randomly showed up on this D23 poster doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to be getting a Spider-Man announcement. So don't get too, too, too over your head and expect Tom Holland to show up full in the Spider-Man outfit, announcing the new movie and showing us a teaser. You know, it's, it's just that it's so difficult to, to say. And, and that's just the best way to put it. And there are other characters here, like there's a Mulan, and, and there's Monsters, Inc., and there's all sorts of stuff that probably isn't going to be announced, like Winnie the Pooh, or, or, or any of these projects. So just because it's on the poster doesn't mean it's going to happen. It just does seem a little odd to me, since Spider-Man isn't really something Disney would be announcing. So it is interesting that they went and decided to add that on the poster. Same with Indiana Jones. That is something that they would be announcing, but I do feel like front and center, just like with the Spider-Man, where everybody can see it, you know, the first thing you think when you see Indiana Jones isn't Disney or D23. So I just think it was very interesting, the placement of these two characters and the possible announcements that might follow. If you don't have all of the information, guys, Disney Plus Day is on September 8th. Following that, 9, 10, 11, and 12 is D23. On the 10th is the big Marvel event where they're going to be having the big two hours of talking about every single Marvel project, all the stuff we should be excited for. But I hate to break it to you, it will not be live streamed. So, more heartbreak and disappointment with that. I really wish they would stream these events so that we could also partake. But you know, they have their own strategy for how they want this information to get out. I will be live streaming the event. I will be ready to break the news as it comes to me, as it gets to you, as it's out there, and anything that gets leaked or revealed, we'll be talking about it. So, on the 12th, be sure to join us here live for D23 and the big Marvel reveal, which very well now may have a Spider-Man 4 announcement. Thank you guys so much for watching to the very end of the video. If you're in a helpful, useful, entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.